Hello everybody and welcome to Banished Mega Mod Series with Night Ghost 49. Uh, taking a bit of a break. I, I, I let Toolsville just be. I, I, I needed to let that be. Uh, we finished up George. And a lot of people have been saying Night Ghost. More Banished. Night Ghost more Banished. And I've been watching the views and the, and the likes and everything. And the majority of them are on Banished. And I've been doing other things. So let's do this. You know, I hear there is an epidemic of people that don't have homes. It is cold outside and it gets hot in the summer and there's nomads roaming everywhere. Okay. This one, we're gonna focus on nothing but, well, okay, we're gonna focus on everything. But we're gonna try to bring in as many nomads as quickly as we can, which means I'm gonna have multiple town centers. I'm gonna try to use all of those to bring in as many nomads as I can as quickly as possible. Which means I need to have housing. I need to have food like crazy. I need to have industry to trade. And we're gonna have to grow like nuts. Now, I am gonna do this differently this time. I'm gonna go on a medium map. Because the, the very large, it got a little too big and it got a little laggy. And it kinda killed some fun for me. I'm not gonna do that this time. We are gonna do a red desert. I decided, I, I've never actually done the red desert. The winters get fairly cold, but the summers get really hot. Um, I've just never done this one, actually. That's the only reason. So we're, we're going to call this uh, Nomad Explosion. No, 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 no. No, uh, no Nomadia. Nomadia. <laughs> Nobody's mad. Everybody's a nomad. We're going to go with the climate's going to be harsh. Harsh, arid. Very hot and also cold. Okay? I think that'll be appropriate. Disaster's on. I'm going to put starting conditions at medium. That gives me a little bit of agriculture to start with. Just um, like one orchard thing and two things of food. Because we just want to go. We just want to go as quickly as we can. We're just going to rock and roll and jump into this really fast. Alright, here we are. We're going to do a little pause. We're going to jump in here and get all of our normal stiff. I'm not using that one this time. I'm going to use... Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to use this one. I like this professions one. You can scroll through. It's a little easier for me to read, to be completely honest. Uh, we're going to put our map over here like we always do, and then the event log down there. We're starting with 10 people, 3 children. We have no, no homes. We have a lake right here. We're going to exploit the crap out of this and a river right next to it, which is good. We've got this area for lumber, and this area will probably do lumber, and then we can go over here as well. Um, not the best for expansion, though, I'll be completely honest. Um, we might have to expand in the water a little bit, but uh, I, don't, I don't really know. What I might want to do is actually move the food and lumber a little higher, and then go down here, and then this strip we can use. I think we can use this strip for some um, growth and production. All right. Now, you guys know I like to play on, on speed 10. Um, that hasn't changed. In fact, I still really want to play on speed 10. So let's set up real quickly just these little pickups. I'm going to unpause. Everybody's going to pick up. Let's make sure we have at least two builders. There you go. Pick all this stuff up. Pick up all this. We'll focus on this area first. And boom, boom. Ten. And then what we're going to do is let's get everything else set up. We want Forrester. Um, let's do it right there, right in the middle. It's kind of not the best spot. There's a lot of stone there, but we're going to work through that. And then we're going to go to food. I'm going to pick the little hunter. Wait, where did I put this thing? Okay, little hunter right there. And then we're going to do the little gatherer because they're really efficient for their size. So we're going to get those up and going first. I really want to focus on, uh, we're going to do dirt roads to start, but dual double roads. We are going to grow very quickly. Oh, that's that's an area. That's a little area. What are you doing? Uh, we could probably flatten that out, to be completely honest. But before I do that, we need to make sure we're gathering enough stuff. So here, we'll get some wood. There's some wood over here. Remember, you don't want to do big, too big patches because they won't grow back quick enough. Okay, so that's what we're doing first. And then you know what? For now, let's just do a nice little um, nice little temporary farm, 11 by 11, right? Because that's a good optimal. That seriously had something. That's so crazy. Oh, that's my stockpile. And it's not actually working. So, and that happens sometimes when you, when you go in and go speed 10 immediately. I forgot about that. So, let's do this. Is that good? Will you guys put stuff here? You see, you're just throwing it off to the side. We'll, we'll see. 
I'll make a second one right next to it. And just see what they do. What are they doing? Okay, they're using it. Good. Whew. Okay. That was slightly concerning. And then I have this, which I would like to actually make top priority. Get that farm going. And then we're going to have orchards and all that good stuff. All right, let's 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 finish that little bit of a road. Perfect. And these, these aren't quite done yet, but I do need to make a road like from here all the way up here to that just to make it a little more efficient. What, what are we making? Wheat and soybeans. Ooh. Uh, let's start doing wheat. Let's get one person there. We'll mark it as pickup so they'll, they'll harvest it. Oh, it's been so long since I've played. I love it. I love it. I, it's been just forever. All right, so we're going to have multiple food sources over here. That should survive us. This, uh, this should survive us. This should allow us to survive and be okay. I'm going to go with colonial homes for the first little bit. And I think for now, just because of resources, maybe we'll just do the small ones first. One, two, three. We're going to need more, and I need to leave room for double, right? So we've got double room for all that. And these are done. Perfect. Let's get two people in here for sure. Set that to be 2,000. No, the limit. Uh, okay, good. I increased the limit. And then the gatherers, we want two gatherers. And the food limit. You know what? I'm, I'm just not going to mess around. Let's put it at 50,000. And then hunting, I'm going to put two people there as well. Perfect. And we could probably put a couple little homes out there. <clears throat> Maybe a mini storage and a log gatherer too. But for now, I want them to just run back and forth. That'll be fine. <clears throat> Man, sorry. I believe we have enough resources, except that we're going to run out of iron very, very quickly. So we'll go ahead and just mark these to be gathered to. Mostly the stone is what I want, so we can finish off some buildings. Um, wait, really? A bunch of these guys are going to become of age and like switch out and all that. So, and plus I have one person in the crop field. Oh, it's early autumn. They're not actually going to work it anyway. Well, they're a person. Anyway, let's go ahead and say build this row of homes first. Prioritize that. People are going to come over here and start stocking these, which there's nothing to remove, so they're going to go up very quickly. Now, with that, I do need... Um, I need a woodcutter. Tiny chopper? Do I want a tiny chopper? No, no, no. I don't want just a tiny chopper. What's this one? Firewood yard. All right, let's do the firewood yard. I like this. Right there. I'll make a firewood yard. See, look. Homes. Fantastic. And we're going to have to start smelting. We're going to need mines and all that. Let's put some mines over here. Actually, we might be able to use this this little mound. Um, let's find out. I don't normally... Oh, I don't have logs, but yes, we can use that. We need to do the salt and stone mine. And we'll put that away from here a little bit. So there's the radius, and it goes to about right here. So I think I'll be okay if I build the salt and stone mine. And then also the iron ore and coal. Perfect. We'll do that. And uh, homes are getting finished. That's awesome. Good job, good job. And now we need somebody to come over here and finish this wood chopping so that everybody doesn't die. Again, I want to be really diligent about roads this time around. And for now, we're just doing the dirt roads, right? We're kind of in a in the desert place here. Let me pause that for just a second. Do they have kids that are even of age? There's a girl. And nope. So we're going to wait. This is... Shouldn't be paused or whatever. Okay. I've got one person there. So one person is working in the firewood yard. Limit of 200 on firewood. They've only got 25 left. But we're bringing in a little bit of wood right now. We could increase the efficiency right now by getting a stockpile. Transparent wood. There we go. And we could also put a home out here. But I'm not ready to do homes. Now, something I want to start doing a little bit more is planning. So while I can't actually actively, you know, do anything, I can't build anything right now because I either don't have resources or it's not the right time for a home or whatever, um, I can go in and, like, click these and just pause them. So one thing I do need that we're going to do right now that I said I was going to do is the little town hall. Mini town hall costs 10 lumber. We're just going to do that right there. It's late winter. We're almost into the year one. I'd be really sick if we got that done. Because I believe that's going to allow us to start recruiting people. Okay. Oh, I just hodgepodge these. Ah, we're going to have to replace those. Not not this moment, but we are. Um, okay. So this pointed roof. Pointed roof. 
pointed roof. Oh, nope, I messed it up. Here, pause, pause, and pointed roof. Pause. And then we'll also, we'll do one more row, just to kind of have that nice little community feel. And this one, we're going to do this, what, what? The tall ones? Yeah, we'll do the tall ones. It'll be fun. Perfect. Pause, pause, pause that. Okay, we've hit our limit for for wood. That's fantastic. It is spring. It's getting really warm real quick. And there it is, our mini town hall. We can see how much production we have, which we're overproducing on food, which is great. Um, we've got our graphs here. We all love the dang graphs. That's good. Perfect. Um, we've got the wheat farm doing its thing. And I'll be honest, it's probably not going to stay there. So I'm just going to do a little road out to this. Nothing fancy. We'll just do that for now. I want to make sure everybody has enough to do. Um, I'm going to leave the trees here. You know, this is helping with the irrigation or the uh, the stability of the soil. you got water on both sides. you got to make sure that's working like it should. What we should be building is... Let me think. If we do reeds, we can do fire bundles. I actually like that plan. I've liked it for a, a while. And uh, I, it was introduced to me through a couple series. And I'm going to continue with it. I think it's a really good... That's a really good plan. Okay, but we're not going to focus on that completely right now. We're going to let that build. Oh, we do have four laborers, two builders. These are all maxed over here. They're really hard to see. That's probably the only thing that's not fun. Oh, that's the stockpile. Um, but let's check on them real quick. Where are you guys at? Okay, there's my hunter. Be a nice and efficient foreigner. Venison, some leather, duck meat, feathers, bone meal. And they picked up some stray logs here and there. The gatherer, doing fantastic. Holy crap, very efficient. I love it. Little baby trees getting planted everywhere with the lumber guy. The Forester, there we go. Perfect. 119 logs last year. It's really good for just starting out. So what I will do, though, is... You know, we're not going to increase that limit yet. I believe we do need a home. There's female. There's male. Let's finish this home. Are these finished yet? Nope. Okay, they're still working on these. That's good. That's very good. We're going to have to start getting the production of smelting and all that up and running. We're going to do that here next to this area, and we'll do some homes kind of along the way. I want to I want to be aware of the happiness pollution stuff a little bit more in this this time around cuz the city, you know, they deserve a little bit more attention that like that. So we're going to go into production. We're going to smithing and tools. Um and for now what I could do is we could just do some workshop. We could do one workshop that will do both clothing. Let's do it on the side. It'll do both clothing and uh tools just it depends on how we set it. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll get the road like this. There we go. Fantastic. And we'll do this. Make sure they're they're good to go. Ooh. I didn't go high enough. That's fine. We're going to double them up anyway. And then we should do a stockpile out here as well. In fact, we'll do one right here in the middle. Um, you know, we'll do two different ones. I'll, I'll make them specific because... I think that everybody enjoys it when we, you know, make them a specific stockpile. We'll do five by fives. So that's going to be for the stone. And then we need ores, which is materials, I believe. Iron, yep, it's not iron. It actually is ore. And then we will also do iron. And I'm just, I'm just butting all these up against to it. You know what? Um, one, two, three, four, five, one. And then we'll do five here. So this will be in inlaid a little bit. So these two areas will be taken up, but this won't. And we can put something here and then still have stuff working there as well. And again, I'm not going to have anybody here. I'm going to drop that down to... I'm going to drop it down to one because I don't really want anybody working stone yet. I need the iron first. So that's going to be our little workshop. We're going to come in here and get... We've got to smelt some ingots and, and ore and all that good stuff. So first... Wow, the year just flew by. And look how much food we have already. That's fantastic. How much did we make off of that? 868. My goodness. Look at the food jump. Producing 1,600, consuming 1,200. Yeah, yeah. We need to get some nomads in here ASAP. All right. So, smelter. Right? Right there. And then, what else do we need? Oh, we need the um, furnace fuel refinery. Very good. Which reminds me, I do need to up the limit to 400 for firewood, so they'll start working a little bit a uh, little bit more. Both of these are almost done. Just so they all have stuff to do, we'll have them gather all this stuff too. There we go. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, you're, you're good. You're getting finished off. You just need some more work. Because tools are down to 18 already, which is not good. We, we need that to actually be finished. So what I'm going to... Let's let's help him out. Let's prioritize these. Oh, those two stockpiles are done. I did transparent to blend in to the red, the red desert sand. And because of that, I can't see all the time. So this road is not quite connected. There we go. Perfect. It is fantastic, yes. And you know, let let's just finish this. Because I already have some iron and we can start making tools immediately. Plus, I have a laborer. We're gonna need some homes out here as well. I don't want them too close, like I was saying. So we're probably going to do maybe just a couple in here just to be a bit closer. So that's the that's the village, right? Do we want different homes out here? I like the colonial ones. We'll do large homes. Okay. And one, two, three. No, we'll do two different kinds. That's what we'll do. We'll pause them. All right. Do we need, do we need anybody to be paired off yet? I don't think we've got anybody of age. 14-year-old girl, and that's it. Okay. So, there we are. Tools, perfect. Get one person working that. Very good. We've got a limit of 50 on the tools. We're going to start cranking that out. I'm going to leave you at 2 and you at 1. And I'm actually going to say, don't work this for now. We're going to work this. But we've got a lot of building and hauling and stuff to do, so I'm actually not going to queue that up quite yet. So, I've got a couple homes. Um, we're maxed out over here at our fuel limit, which is good. Our storage is looking really good, too. Uh, we're producing r well. Oh, what could we do? We could... Oh, man. I want to build, like... I want to start building out the markets and all this stuff, but I don't think that's what we're going to do. I think maybe this area will be all of our raw resources and some production. And then as we move over here, this will be the city. This will be the city. It'll support all that. And maybe north of this will be another, another town or something. Um, let's go like right here and build a bridge and I love I love the wood bridge or the stone bridges personally so where are we at roads bridges stone it's gonna be expensive it's gonna be 60 but we're doing it it's a big arc bridge the uh, traders can still go through it's really nice okay there is our smelter we need furnace fuel and iron I'm not quite at the population yet to do this, though. That's the only problem. That's why I built this as quickly as I could, this town hall. <clears throat> but it doesn't mean we can't get stuff done. There's a lot more that we could do. Um, again, we've got we've got a girl ready to go. We've got homes here. I am leery about building them until I need to, until we get to the point where we've got a few of those. Um, we've got a few nomad things coming in, and then we can just build, and they'll just fill up like crazy. All right, what can we build out here while we're waiting? Actually, we need to we need to prioritize food constantly. So first thing, I'm going to do the old school fishing dock because it's good. And this is a really good spot to have it. What we will also do is probably make, you know, we could probably make a marketplace right now. Even though I can't do any trading or whatever, we could probably do it. I would like to have something to trade. That's my only gripe about that. Yeah, see if we can do it right here. Let's set it there for now, and we'll pause it. it. Looks like somebody is saying they don't have a home. So why don't we finish off that one? Okay, we'll finish off that house and get them over here. Okay, stockpiles are good. These are good. I don't want to start working the furnace fuel yet. Materials, uh, we'll put that at 2,000, so we're not messing that up. Materials, stone limit, 2,000, dried good limits. We're going to just smash through all of those goals so fast it's not even funny. Even with it pause, is that what it's saying eight for? There's two builders. What, what else is it queuing up for? That's really odd. And how are we doing on food still? I think we're still doing okay. Oh my gosh, 3,852. I think we're going to need another stockpile here really soon. Holy crap. That's really good. Okay, double road, single, single. That's fine. Um, I think we'll do that just to make it look a little bit better. We don't have any homes out here yet, but they are working on this one right now. What else are they working on? Are they working on the fishing dock? Let's get some roads out there as well. I'm just queuing up all kinds of jobs. These guys are going to be happy to work. Here we go. Look at all that. It's fantastic. Labor has died of starvation. Hmm. 
What? We have a ridiculous amount of food. How did you die of starvation? What? I don't even understand. <laughs> You know, we'll build an edibles market. How does that feel? No, that takes lumber. You dingbats. Fine, we'll do a small, a small market. Wow, I just don't... I don't even know. I just don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> and the Darwin Award goes to... Venezuelis. Yeah, good job. Good job pronouncing that one. Got a little bit of stone here. I've already got a little bit of iron ore. Oh, that was from the, the bulk stuff. Which actually, you know what? That's what they're doing. Um, let's cancel some stuff. So cancel removal. Boom. Cancel that. We don't need it right now. Do your other jobs. Finish up these helms. And we got one person that's a laborer too over here from the crop field. Yeah, finish the home, which one person moved in. I mean, you said you needed somewhere to go. And there are no, there are no men. There you go. That guy's got to be old enough real soon. Somebody else just had another kid. Fantastic. We've had 10 children. One person died. I can't even believe it. First episode, somebody died. And for the dumbest reason. Oh, well. We've got a good amount of logs, actually. So let's come over here. <coughs> oh, good. Somebody became a laborer. <coughs> My goodness. Cough, cough. Was Martha coming back? Jeez. We'll have somebody work the small town market. Fine. Fine. We'll get that. Look look at all this crap they're throwing in there. It's just fantastic. Are we doing okay on tools? We, we're doing okay. They're they're producing a decent amount right now. Um, but we're running low on iron. So the next industry is actually going to be over here with smelting and, and furnace fuel. So let's just put one person there. And let's get one person smelting. That's going to reduce the overall labor force. But as you see, we just had three more people join in after that kid was born. So I think we're doing okay on labor. Um, what's going on here? <gasps> Can they cross somewhere? That's what it is. Oh, somebody got across here. I saw somebody walk in. I don't even know how they did it. They shouldn't be able to do that. <gasps> you died because of a glitch. You followed the deer in. You slimy little deer. All right, so we're not going to work this for now. We all know that. Uh, okay, good. Paired off. Fantastic. We don't have anybody else to pair off. Got a girl, two girls, three girls. Boys are coming. They're, they just got to grow up a little bit. That's all. Not a big deal. Okay, so we've got the smelter there, which let's check and see how much iron we currently have. Go to inventory. We've got nomads. Two nomads have just shown up. Oh my gosh, that is so fast. That is so incredibly fast. Reserve of iron is low. Yes, it is. Let's get a mini little hospital just to make life not be horrible. Here we go. Let's, let's put it right here by the road. Mini hospital before we accept the nomads. Yes, please build this up. Priority one. Nomads. Two of you. Welcome, friends. Welcome. We'll even start a home for you. <laughs> I'm just full of joy. All right. We've got to expand out here. Or um, maybe we'll do agriculture down here. If we're not going to use the logs as much, if we could get... Okay. If we can get reeds going. That's the kicker. If we can get reeds rocking and rolling, then we'll be able to not worry about logs as much. And we'll be able to make those into fire bundles. Now, I wanted to check iron tools, iron ore. We've got a decent amount right now, but we don't have anybody working at the mine. So we'll need to start that pretty much now. So let's get one person working the mine. And we need to build out the reed situation right here. So why don't we go in to the reed stuff. And we will say reed farm. And we'll do one on the other side. And then we'll immediately start branching off so we optimize the space and I don't mess it up. There we go. So they'll build those. Nobody's going to work them yet, but we, we'll get somebody on there. Um, hospital. I'll probably turn this on when we need it this time around. What are we low on? Yeah, iron. I know it's low. It'll, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, also, the workshop. Right, we have this workshop making tools. We're going to leave that alone, making tools. But we could also have a workshop over here making coats. So let's do that real quick. There you go. This is a dual purpose workshop of awesomeness. How's our little market? Almost full with one person just running around like a crazy person, just stocking it like nuts. Um, I would like to do some agriculture. And that's probably, again, I, I've, I think I've changed my mind a little bit. Well, there's two, there's two hills here. 
I think what we need to do actually is split this. We've already got it divided, right? Yeah, iron is low. Thank you for warning me for the tenth time. I think we're going to go to here. And everything on the east side is going to be agriculture. Everything on the west side is going to be some industry and some mines. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think that's going to be good. And you can make coats. Hide coats. There you go. We need those. We've got a bit of leather from the hunter, so we'll be fine. And you're maxed out on fuel. Good job, you. Now we are using furnace. We are using firewood to make furnace fuel. So there's that. Um, is furnace fuel fitting in? Okay, it is fitting in the materials. That's good. I was gonna say if they're if they're running around, that's actually not going to be good. The workshop though is running around quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is let's build a small barn right there, and then he'll just stock it there, and then the traders can come get their stuff. Did anybody move in? Oh, nice. And they did have a kid before she became too old to have children. All right, we've got a girl, two girls. One boy. Guess what? Home's going to be finished. Do it. All right. So we've got the reeds going on over here. Um, we're going to build that out more. We're going to do some agriculture stuff. I'm going to pause here. Let me make a cut. What we're going to do is we're going to build this out a little bit more because we've got a good amount of logs. And we're going to build this out. We're going to clear out some stuff, maybe make a generic stockpile and dump everything in there real quick. We're going to do agriculture and we're going to start planting things out over here. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, at the beginning of the series, if you all could give us a like, and share this and leave a comment or, or actually just any of those things that would be fantastic keep in mind i can't reply directly to comments right now something is still wrong with my account and i can't reply to my videos if you want to ping me on twitter at nightgoes49 that would be the easiest way if you had a question or a comment that you really want me to answer if you just want to post something and have me see it fine i read the comments so uh, that's what we're going to do thanks everybody and i will see you guys next time later